Welcome back to Ride and Glide. Today is a really fun one for us because we have Future Motion's newest board in. We've been waiting for this for so long. It's been a bit delayed. Finally, it is here, the One Wheel GT. At Riding Glide, we have been in love with One Wheel since the very beginning. It's been a long journey to get to where we are now, starting out with the V1, One Wheel Plus, the One Wheel Plus XR, the One Wheel Pint, the One Wheel Pint X, and finally, the One Wheel GT. The One Wheel GT is Future Motion's flagship model. It's got more power and more range than any other board they've ever brought out, so we're really looking forward to reviewing it. I'm obsessed with one wheels. Everyone that works at Riding Glide is obsessed with one wheels. No one is as obsessed with one wheels as our videographer, Luke Wally B, but also Toby Webb, who I'm gonna hand over to now and let him talk passionately about the GT and then go out and put it through its paces. Hello, it's me again, Toby. You might remember me from previous videos, such as the F37. Very excited today, as we've finally got the latest evolution of Future Motion's one wheel, the GT. Few features to go through, a uh, few things that have changed from the previous iterations of the boards. Starting off, these lovely concave front and rear foot pads. I've got a big old chunky wedge on my XR, uh, which I had to pay us a, a princely sum for. Now comes standard on the GT. Um, other things to mention are a massive increase in range, pretty much double the range of the XR. You're looking at between 20 and 32 miles range, depending on rider size, conditions, all that kind of stuff. But either way, you're looking at probably about double the range of the XR, which is a huge upgrade. Again, they've increased the power of this board as well by 50%. So the XR had two horsepower. We've now got a whopping three horses crammed in. Uh, so that's gonna allow for more fun, uh, steeper climbs, just more power to just get you where you wanna go. One Wheel have been developing their own tire now. Uh, so when you decide that you need a GT in your life, you now have the choice between a slick and a treaded tire, which in the UK might help with those slightly damper days. Um, obviously you don't really wanna be riding it in the wet, but uh, just having the choice between a slick and a treaded um, it's definitely something that the community has been uh, after for a while. Maghandle Pro, those of you that have an XR will know that this was a, another additional extra you had to pay for on previous models. Uh, it comes as standard now. Also, 300% more lumens coming out of this bad boy. And you have the choice of a full beam as well, making those nighttime shreds even more Bright and beautiful, that's a rubbish line, so edit that out please, Luke. Or it's staying in. Uh, some other features that they have now bolted onto the GT from the pint models uh, is the light bar in the front foot pad. Um, so this will indicate whether you have both sides of the sensor activated before you step on the board, and also gives you a nice indication of the kind of battery life you've got. We've got a little bit more heft to the board, quite a lot more heft, but when it's under your feet, you don't even feel it. Um, so again, those are the main differences uh, or upgrades over the previous models. What I'm really looking forward to, because I'm not even, this, this board has been in the shop for over two days now, taunting me. And I'm really looking forward to getting out and feeling it under my feet. Um, just seeing how that extra power, how these concave foot pads, the additional grip on the grip tape, uh, the new tyre profile, how it all comes together to just level up that one wheel experience that we already know we enjoy and love. So I'm just looking forward to taking it further, faster, steeper, harder than uh, any of the previous models. So let's get out there.
So just before we go out and hit the woods in the wilds of West Sussex, a couple more things I wanted to cover uh, before we get out. So there's also four new riding modes uh, that you can see in the app. Uh, some additional safety features as well that one wheel have introduced to go along with pushback. Uh, there's now a safety beep. So once you hit pushback, you'll also get a safety beep. Push past pushback at your peril. <laughs> Let me try that again. It's the safety beep. So as you approach pushback, uh, you'll also get an audible beep. Uh, and that's the board just letting you know you're coming towards the end of the performance of the board. Push past the pushback at your peril. Uh, so now we're just going to uh, get out into the woods, put this one through its paces and make it look a little bit more used like this one. Let's go. So this is literally my first go on the GT. So I'm just going to be, uh, whoa, <laughs> just going to be literally saying what comes to my mind as I'm, uh, as I'm riding. So, I mean, first off, heading up this incline, absolutely effortless. Uh, sometimes on the XR, you can feel the motor surging as you're asking a lot of it. But here, I mean, this is literally solid. Um, I feel like I could give it more without having to worry too much about the nose dipping. Uh, absolutely, the power's incredible. Just heading back down that trail, we've just come up with absolutely no problems at all just to see how the braking feels. Again, feels super stable all over these humps. Tire feels like a really nice middle ground between the, uh, the stability you get at the Vega and that nice nimbleness of the pint. They've, they've really, feels quite hard. Woo. But uh, yeah, not too hard for me, because I mean, to be honest, I'm a range fiend. I just want to ride all day. So I don't mind uh, a slightly harder tire and pumped up PSI, so this for me is, is a really nice middle ground, like I say, providing a nice stable platform, but still wiggly wiggly. I'm gonna give it some beans now, see what we can get. Whoa, mate, rapid! Jeez, and still, still feels like it's got more in it. Absolutely mad power. Again, I'm not even hitting pushback yet. The board is just solid, amazing. And those concave foot pads are helping me feel proper locked in. Grip tape, it's all working together just to, to get you in that state that a one wheel does where you just forget about everything and you're just, you're just going where you want. Absolutely brilliant. So again, this tire really helping with these little tight turns. Whereas before you'd feel yourself getting up onto the side wall of the Vega. Now it's just effortless. Go edge to edge, none of that sort of notchy, blotchy, blocky kind of either on the, on the flat or on the sidewall. Just a really smooth transition from edge to edge. Lovely. Again, the concave of the foot pads, really nice. Not too deep, a nice mellow concave. Just helps you find that little pocket for your foot. So now we're going to see how that power translates into hill climbability. First, I'm going to try it on the tarmac and then we're gonna try it on the grass as well to see how that power really translates into yanking you up the hill. So now we're gonna see how that power translates into hill climbing. So again, it's a pretty steep hill. No effort at all, absolutely no problem. Choose it up. Now this is a steep hill. There's no way I would get up this on my XR. And yet, literally, without any momentum, minimal momentum, no effort. Here we are at the top. That's impressive, genuinely impressive. So I'm just going to see what kind of speeds I can get here. I'm not going for any kind of speed records here because I've got a wife and children that I need to think about. But let's just see what we can get anyway. Punching it. Board's still feeling super stable. Again, board feeling a little bit of pushback now. But even so, you know, I'm chinging, mate. Just at 23 and a half miles an hour, which I've got to say, it's not recommended, but even at that speed, the board felt like it's got more in it. I'm starting to get the little first bits of pushback there, but again, it's nice and subtle, nothing like the kind of violent pushback that some people have complained about on the original Pint. So again, just super capable, loads of power, and again, just gives you that confidence that the board has just got power for days. Really feeling the benefit of this new tyre now on this smooth tarmac here. Again, beautiful edge to edge carving, none of that kind of blocky side wall to, to flat that you could get with the Vega on the XR out the box. Really nice compromise. <laughs> he approves. 
And so do I. Brakes work too. Ready for some one wheel ASMR. Lovely. Oh, again, already feel myself getting into that, that flow state, as they say, you know, where everything else just melts away and you're just at one with the board. And all of these little tweaks that, that Future Motion have made just all come in together to, to sort of enhance that experience. The tire, the foot pads, the grip tape, the range, the power, changing the way that the power's delivered. Again, they've done a great job here. They've taken what they do best and made it better, which is what I was hoping for. So as I said previously, one will have been developing their own tire for the GT. And it also comes in a treaded and a slick variety now. You've got a choice. Uh, we went for the slick, because that's what I like to ride. And again, even in these conditions where it's been a little bit damp, uh, could potentially be a little bit slimy, I'm not finding the edge of the grip at all. Still holding on strong. But again, if you do feel like you need that little bit more confidence with a treaded tire, that's an option you've got now, which you never had before. So I've got quite a technical bumpy trail here. As I've said before, everything's just working together to keep me upright. The extra power in the motor, the tire, those concave foot pads, the extra grip tape. I'm pretty sure I'd be in that bush by now if I was on my XR, but again, the GT's just helping me keep it all together and just enjoy the ride, man. <laughs> so I feel like that previous hill climb we did didn't really test the GT. So now I've got a really chumbly, rocky, lumpy, steep hill here. And, but still, I mean, still just eating it up. Going off road, man. I don't know where I'm going, Luke. I don't know, but it's just eating it up. It just, it wants to go, man. Whoa, it saved me there. Saved me there, extra power. Pretty much just saved my bacon. I'm going as fast uphill as I would be downhill on my XR, I think. It's just super confidence inspiring. This is for you viewers. I'm gonna take the chunky line here. Just to show you again, power. Just plow through it. Brilliant, super confidence inspiring, which as with any one wheel, it's all about confidence. Confidence in the board and that the board's gonna react how you expect it to. And the GT's no different. Boink. <laughs> the smile on my face says it all, I think. Chunky, chunky, chumbly. Again, no problem. We've got some fairly big logs here. Luke's, Luke's doing an incredible job staying on his board. I mean, I'm finding it hard enough and I've just got me to get across there. But he's riding a GT too, so he's okay. So I'm gonna try this hill climb to nose bonk. Yeah. Okay, so I've been tasked by my bosses to drain the battery of this. I'm not sure if they realize what they've signed me up for because we've been out riding pretty hard. I mean, all kinds of terrain now, nearly an hour. I've still got 72% battery life. I'm gonna be here all night at this rate. I have to start going over some really choppy stuff like this and drain the battery. But again, it's still, ah, oh, that's lack of rider skill. So I'm gonna to attempt to get up this hill which is just covered in roots. So this is gonna be a real test of one, my skill, and the capability of the board. But, I mean, I don't know why I was even worrying. So just floating through the woods now, really chumbly terrain, loads of roots, sticks, twigs everywhere. Again, quite a steep hill, but absolutely effortless. Everything that I've thrown at this thing so far, is just eating it up. So I've got another super steep climb here that I know my XR would struggle with. I, again, doesn't matter what I throw it, just ch chomps it up. Hello. 
So I'm just going to give you a demonstration of the kind of acceleration that I'm talking about. So I'll just bring it down to a sort of slower speed and then I'm just going to gun it. And it's not just the instantaneous acceleration, it's the way that surge just keeps coming. Got so much headroom with the power. You feel like you could just keep pushing it. I think I'm always going to chicken out before the board does at this rate. And this is pretty choppy terrain as well. Just eating up these off-road trails. Get real big undulations, ups and downs. But the motor's just solid. Even on the XR, you'd get the occasion, if you went through a big dip, the nose would drop and then the motor would kick in to bring you back, but not getting any of that on this. This is just absolutely solid. And again, it's just super confidence inspiring, which is what this board is about, having confidence in the board. Um, and yeah, the more I ride it, the more it just builds my confidence that it's going to be there for me. It's got my back. So I've been on this track before on my XR uh, with the stock Vega and had real issues because it's a really tight track. But on this tire, again, you've just got those super smooth turns. That slick's provided a really decent amount of grip. Got the concave foot pads locked in. Again, this tire's super nice. Too hard for some people, but perfect for me. Just running it on the stock PSI at the moment, 20, uh, just so we can get an idea of the range, really. But yeah, it feels great. Uh, and I think it's only gonna get better, really. Um, as I use it, it will soften up. That compound will get a little bit more forgiving, but yeah, the tire feels great. They've done a really good job getting that balance between uh, stability and performance as well. Again, you know, the fact that I can just talk easily while I'm hacking it through these really tight turns effortlessly. So at the moment I'm riding in Apex, which is the equivalent to Delirium, which pretty much everything turned up to 11, which... <laughs> Goddamn. Even the stacks are turned up to 11. <laughs> Everything up to 11. <laughs> Loads of torque. Again, flying through this pretty uneven, rooty area here. Absolutely no trouble at all. So this, I'm not expecting to make it up this. This is really steep, but but st still, I mean, you can hear, I'm, I'm genuinely shocked to make it up there. I, I mean, just have a look back at how steep this is. There's no way you would get up that on an XR. No way at all. I mean, that in itself, for me, if you were thinking about buying a GT, if you've got an XR and you just want to take it to the next level, you know, the GT is that next level. Yeah. Just hacking it down this nice flowy trail here. Putting all of the GT's power and torque into use. Again, I'm just, I'm just loving it. Absolutely loving it. Smiles for miles. Definitely high on the smiles for miles rating. I mean, this is a really nasty choppy bit here. Loads of roots. But I'm not worried. I've got power for days. The climbing, the climbing is insane. It feels like you can just step on the nose and it will just go. It's like, yeah, let's do it. All over these routes. This is, I mean, I'd have to be really concentrating here on my XR, wiggling about, trying to find the smoothest line. Not so much on the GT, literally just hammering it. And it's got the power to just pull me over everything. Great. You right, Luke? <laughs> so just stopping for a little break now because the only issue with the range is that my elderly body can't keep up. Um, so we've been riding for, what, just looking on the app now, an hour and a half, over an hour and a half. Uh, I mean, through, as you've seen, all kinds of terrain. You know, we're really, really putting it through some tough paces here. And uh, I've still got 41% battery left. Uh, fortunately, looks like we've got some daylight left. So I may yet be able to run this battery dry before the night falls. <laughs> so yeah, just gonna give my legs a break and then I hop back on. 
Oh, does it get better than this? I don't think it does, you know. GT with seemingly endless range, power and torque. A sunny day. The beautiful British countryside. I mean, this is it, right? This, I mean, I'm happy. <laughs> Woo! <laughs> Test those brakes out. So let's get some speed. Then we'll go full anchors. Oh, love that sound. Such a distinctive one wheel sound. Ah, oh, so good. Definitely up the braking power as well. It's just everything. They've just taken what was already an awesome bit of kit, an incredible adventure machine, and just upped it all. Go right, Luke. Yeah. I mean, this is, this is my kind of terrain here, and it just feels so at home. So planted, so capable. Oh! Woo-hoo! So we're running for a couple of hours now. I still haven't managed to kill this thing. Even everything that I've put it through now, still got battery life left in it. Uh, it's been incredible. Uh, everything that I was hoping from the one-wheel GT it's delivered and probably more to be honest. As we saw earlier, there was climbs that I thought there's no way it's gonna make it up and I would definitely not have made it on my XR. The GT just ate it up. <laughs> oh! So one other thing I wanted to mention, on the XR, you would notice as the battery got low, sort of sub 20%, 10% you'd know it's a real drop off in performance again nothing like that with the GT I think that means yep she's pushing back I think we might have finally killed her yeah so there we go we have it dead battery and that is a full let me just have a look at the app here two and a half hours riding and that's not easy riding either that's riding across some pretty choppy terrain. So to get two and a half hours riding out of that, I mean, I've got nearly 14 miles out of it, which granted isn't what is advertised, but again, I don't think what I've been putting it through today is anywhere near what the normal rider would be putting it through. So even, even so, I think, you know, it's a vast improvement over the XR. And that power was constant the whole way down until that safety beep kicked in. So it's about time. I need a rest. I need to give this some juice. So until the next time, like, comment, subscribe, and we'll see you in the next one.